you can always cut them down if you want them longer or you can change them out if you want them longer and that's completely wrong because you don't cut something down if you want it longer Hey guys, Daniel Sapp here, tech editor at Pink Bike. We're here in Whistler, British Columbia. We've been testing hardtails for the past few days. These are budget-friendly hardtails that are fully capable and good to go in the bike park or wherever else you want to take them. And so we've got two different bikes. We have the Marin San Quentin 3 and the Specialized Fuse Comp. All right guys, so the first bike we're gonna look at is the Marin San Quentin 3. Uh, it is their top of the line bike in the San Quentin series. And these are bikes that Marin designed around aggressive trail riding. You know, they even say downhill on their website. Downhill, enduro, dirt jumping, kind of a little bit of whatever. The San Quentin has an all aluminum frame. It has a 65 degree head tube angle, a 75 degree seat tube angle. And on the size medium that I'm riding here, the reach is 444 millimeters. The chain stays are 425 millimeters, so it keeps everything quick and responsive and snappy. It's really easy to get the front end of the bike up. And there's gobs of clearance in the rear end of the bike so that you can run pretty wide tires. Uh, these 2.6s have a ton of room. All right, so this bike has an array of components on it designed to hold up to more or less whatever. Uh, it has Marin's bar and stem on it. It's a 35 mil length stem, uh, 800 millimeter wide bars. We have some pretty gnarly tires from V. These are the uh, snap flows. They're 2.6s. And we have FSA Comet cranks <laughs> down here. Shimano SLX derailleur. And then Shimano brakes. We also have a RockShox Revelation fork. Has 130 millimeters of travel. Adjustable compression rebound. It's an air fork so you can kind of set it up for whatever you're riding, you know, whatever your rider weight is. The San Quentin also has X-Fusion's Manic Dropper Post, perfect for getting everything out of the way on more technical trails. It has 150 millimeters to travel, pretty rad. That whole spec, bike complete, comes in at 2,000 American dollars, not bad. So the San Quentin, it's long, it's slack, it's comfortable at speeds, and it pedals really well too. The 75 degree steep angle is a little bit steeper than the fuse, and so you are sitting a little bit more forward. Everything about it feels pretty comfortable. So over the past couple days, I've been riding this in the Whistler Bike Park on a variety of trails, flowy trails and more technical trails. And with the 27.5 wheels, everything is really easy to maneuver. It's quick, the bike's responsive, and it has a lot of traction. It's got the smaller wheels, the 27.5 wheels, super helpful, making it playful. The bike feels completely bomb. For $1,675, you get a bike that is pretty darn fun to ride. It won't fall apart in the bike park, and it's got some really good parts on it. You know, we start with the frame. It's specialized M4 aluminum frame. This year with the fuse from years past, the reach has increased by 20 millimeters on all the sizes. It's a little bit longer, lower, and slacker. The head tube angle, 66 and a half degrees, and the chain stays are adjustable. They go from 420 millimeters all the way up to 435. So you have 15 millimeters of adjustability there. So you can make the bike kind of tight, you know, easier to get the front end up or a little bit longer, a little more stable at speed. Yeah, so you can adjust the chain stays from 420 to 435. Probably running about 428, 429 right now. So the cool thing with the fuse is it's a super versatile bike to run 27.5 plus wheels, 29. We have it set up with 29. I'm a fan of 29 wheels. The frame has internal cable routing throughout. So you've got internal routing for the dropper, the shifter, and the rear brake. It's really clean. There's two water bottle mounts. We like that. And there's also a third bolt here. So if you wanted to put some sort of a bag or Specialized has their swap box, you can put that on there as well. Carry a spare tube, whatever else you want to, a burrito. So with the bike set up as is, with the 130 millimeter RockShox fork on it, you're gonna run a 74, it puts it at a 74 degree seat tube angle. With a full suspension bike, 74 may not be as steep as we would like to see, but with the hardtail, 
and the fact that you're not sagging into the suspension anymore. 74 is a super appropriate angle. All right, components on the bike are pretty good for entry level components. Uh, entry level components 10 years ago would just fall apart. These are really solid. Uh, we were just riding the bike park all day with them. No issues whatsoever. Um, we've got SRAM level brakes. It's the entry level brake. It's their two piston uh, stoppers, 180 millimeter rotor up front and a 160 in the back. As far as gearing goes, we have SRAM's SX drivetrain. It's their latest and most entry level 12 speed Eagle drivetrain. So you've got a huge 50 tooth up here and gives you all the gearing you need to climb up pretty much any hill around. Uh, the only thing that's going to be holding you back is your legs. We have specialized butcher up front and a purgatory in the back. They're specialized in-house tires. They've been super solid. I've been riding them on various bikes for a while. Uh, no issues, especially with the grid casings. And they have a really good tread pattern. The purgatory is uh, a little more open in the back. And then you've got the butcher, um, a little bit more traction, a little blockier up front. So one of the things I like about a bike like this, and especially for riders getting into the sport or you know, even riders that have been riding for a long time is it's simple. There's not a lot to worry about. You just get on it and ride it. Um, the technology of all the new bikes and you know, the full suspension bikes and everything, it's super cool. And it's easy to nerd out on all that stuff and it's exciting. And those bikes are no doubt a blast to ride, but there's something to be said for simplicity. And this bike is that. There's also something to be said for learning to ride on a hardtail. Overall thoughts for me, I like pedaling up and down. Both bikes pedal well. Um, the Fuse feels a little bit lighter and a little more nimble. The tires on it are lighter and you do have the 29 inch wheels. If I was going to choose one of the two bikes, it would probably be the Fuse. But that doesn't mean that the San Quentin's not an incredible bike and it's a great bike for a lot of riders. You just have to look at where you're going to be riding and what your style is. And there's also a few hundred dollars difference in the budget of those two bikes. So if you've got a little bit more money, the San Quentin, if that fits your style, that might be your pick. Neither one of the bikes are going to let you down and you're going to be able to get out and have a good day on the mountain with either one of them.